Hello, and welcome back to Factory Town. In our last episode, we started diligently building this array, making, eventually making uh, leather and shoes and nails for our uh, general store, and we got nearly there. We were already over our time in the last episode, so we paused, or left off at the end with it not quite finished yet, uh, so that we could finish it today. So, we have... All of the grain being uh, grown and shipped into the... Maybe, maybe not. Apparently I need to fix this. This might not be good. This might not be good at all. Let's see here. That's too high. Okay, we're going to need to change this bit here. And then this bit here. All of that. All of this come out, and then let's put in this here, and this one can come now like this. I have to fix that maybe. Yeah, we're going to move this around a little bit. Earth Shrine. Oopsie. Well, it can go this way. It just couldn't come this way any further. So now let's do that. Oh, and someone said there's in the build menu, in the tools menu, there is another... Ah! We have terrain flatten up and down and cur cursor tools smooth up and smooth down. Okay, those might be better to use when we have to do a bunch of smoothing or leveling or whatevering uh, like we did in the last episode. Thank you to commenter... Let me get your name because I will, I will mess it up. I will always mess names up. Uh, Sin Belmores, thank you for that tip. Uh, that is much appreciated. Of course, I might have still messed your name up, but if I did, I'm sorry. Uh, that, and this, and then this. Nope, let's do this differently. This way. And then these can now go... Uh, one, two, like that. And then they can just come downhill. That's fine. In they go. And they are now producing feed, which means they are now producing leather and uh, stuff, fertilizer. And then there goes the fertilizer, and where goes the leather? The leather should be going in here. Yep, there it is on the belt. It won't go in, though, because this one is backed up. Okay, so we should be good now. Did we hook up all the water? Looks like we did. Hopefully we did. We have enough. We may need to add more wells eventually, but... Uh, we'll do that when we do our pass at the end to make sure everything is running at full speed. So the next thing we have to add in order to get these to work is nails. And so we had a forge set up here, uh, with that, which has the earth boost and the steam boost. That is going into the shoes. And then we have a, a forge here, which is just going, in, going to be into the train station. Let's go ahead and plan out where this train station is going to sit. Probably somewhere here in the middle would be the best place for it. And then we'll do a, a, a rail line that goes here. As uh, this is where the, where the train's going to come down in somehow, which we haven't even figured out how we're going to do all of the, all the leads out into the world here. But uh, the nails from here, we need to get fuel in here as well as the... There's, there's coal here, that's good. As well as the uh, iron. We set up the iron mine the last time. Get rid of this one stupid herb bush here. And then this is going to come out like this. And this is a belt. And by the way, it was asked in, I think, in actually the chat, which I missed, by the way, for the last uh, premiere. But uh, it was asked, how do I make those level? Uh, that's the control key. It, um... You can force things to be level with the control key. Then I'm going to bring the, the the nails across here. So let's do something like this. And then... Build up like that. And like this. That looks okay. And this goes up. This goes in and all the way around. And then we just need to have a uh, splitter here 
and this one needs to be pointed inward. In that split, I'll make sure that half goes into this workshop while half of it continues along as planned. And we might end up having to take out some more of this uh, iron here in order to get more shoots through, but that'll be part of, again, that uh, we'll do it later thing. Let's come out this far. Hello. And then we'll come down like this, and then we can turn and go in. Something like that. And then go straight in like that. And then this one can do kind of the same type there. And then down to there. And then come here and turn in like this. And then probably go straight in. Uh, no, we'll take it down and then go in. That'll work. They're about at the same height now. Actually, they are at the same height now. And one miner here is nowhere near enough. The uh, math that I did says we need to have... Uh, hmm. Five earth... Five workers in an earth-boosted mine. So that's basically the equivalent of ten workers. We have the earth booster here, of course. Earth shrine here, of course. But we don't have the workers just yet. And I don't think we're really going to need them. Maybe I'll put two in here. Just so that we have them. And then we need the fuel across in here, of course. Um, you know what? Actually, this wasn't a good idea. Take all that out. Forgot about the fuel. The fuel I want to come through here. Come over there someplace. Goes here. So then we're going to put the iron up. Uh, we'll just put it up on level 2. So splitter first. Whoa, wrong button. Losing my control over here. Splitter. Go in there. And then we'll put this here. And this one here. And now let's redo this. There. Yeah, that'll work. And into there. Okay, and then we're going to put a... Um, do I do a mine here, or... If that'll work, I'm just going to switch this around then. Grabber. There. And probably one worker will be able to keep up with that just fine. And then eventually we'll ship in coal or... Or we can do an earth uh, shrine transmitting or making magma. Something along that line. This is going to produce five nails per second. Eventually. Which is too fast for one uh, cloth belt. For now it's okay. But I guess we could do a metal conveyor belt here instead. Excuse me, sorry about that. Uh-oh. We've got a problem. Why is that letting the shoes come out onto this belt? Right, we're going to have to pick up these items like that. I think that'll take care of it, having the belt pointed inward like that. And then we'll just do a thing like this to bring those out and into the uh, into the train station. Now we're going to have leather coming from here, and we're going to have shoes coming from here and nails coming from here, so we need to be kind of creative with this, but it doesn't have to be super creative. Uh, leather is going to be three per second, so technically one cloth belt would be enough, because I think they are four per second. No, they're one per second. That's not going to anywhere near be enough. Uh, so this might not even be enough for the nails. We might have to have a second belt for the nails here. Uh, let's just do... Let's do a single metal conveyor belt going like this for those. And the shoes are 2.4 per second. So we'll do... Those can probably also be a single belt. 
not, we'll fix it later. That's going to be way too high. Uh, that's one. Oops. Two, three. And that can go in there. And then we need grabbers, of course. Here and here. And that is shoes. And before I get too carried away here... Let's do... Uh, let me think here. One... We have, we have shoes, leather, and nails going out of here. And we have going to have to have coal coming into here. We may also need to deal with fertilizer here. So we might actually just need to have two trains. Fertilizer out, that is. Uh, here. Two stations, I mean. Let's put shoes in two slots. Leather in two slots. Nails in two slots. And then for now, block off the rest of these. And then we'll deal with that later. Since we started dealing with this, we should probably also... ...figure this part out, and I think I'm going to change the route that this takes. Excuse me, sorry. This way now instead. Then go that way. And go in there. And then I can take... Uh, and set this one up as well. Up to level 3 here. There we go. And then... This is going to have to come out. And this way. Elevated. And then go in here to here. We're going to have to move that air shrine, which is fine. It can be moved a little bit. About to here? No, it needs to be moved into here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what about here? No, that's a sloped piece. I guess we'll have to go here and work around it. That's fine. Okay. Go here and stop there. Actually, go one more and stop there. And we'll take this out. Put this in. This in here. This one comes out here. Goes this way. Put that out. This in here and here. This is going to be fertilizer. And fertilizer. Okay, and then we're going to have to get to grain coming out here. That'll eventually be 24 grain in total, divided by 3 is 8 grains uh, per... per... Uh, for, sh for farm, so that's four grain per shoot, and that might be okay. Hmm? There. Put your whining. And this one can go something like this. And like this. I think that works. Make, make, making. Okay, good. And then each of these can have, yeah, we can do a downhill slope. One, two, three, four, five, six, like that. And that'll be fine, I think. We just need grabbers on those. Okay, and then we need water here. Pipe overlay. Yeah, I'm pretty pretty certain that that waters that the two wells aren't going to provide enough since it's not even keeping up right now. 
And these are only kept up because they're basically done. They're not getting enough feed. They're not getting enough grain because blah, 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 etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All right, that's fine. We have leather coming in here now. Almost have a stack of shoes. And then we just need to bring in this forge's uh, nails. And the way I'm going to do that is via a, a metal belt. Nail, four nails per second. I th think metal belts are fast enough. But if they're not, then we'll have to do something different. Gotta come downhill, of course. And then come this way. And go uphill. And in. And that'll fill up those two eventually as well. And that, my friends, is leather and nails and shoes built out but not fully staffed or boosted, which is fine. Because then that gives us the ability to come over here and disconnect this long-suffering thing that doesn't have any, any more fuel, so it's suffering. Okay, well, that's uh, easy enough to do. Um, I'll do that off-camera, though, I think. So the other thing we've been working on for the last two uh, episodes is this downtown area. And we talked a little bit about last time, should we make it differently shaped so that these buildings can be spaced a little bit further apart? And while the answer to that is they might be able to be spaced a little bit further apart, I don't think it's that much further apart. Because if you look at where this one is right now, and if we put, if we made this longer, then this one where it is would, would still not work. It had to get moved over somewhere in this area, which is where it would be anyway, because it needs to be here in order to reach that final house up to the top left. And if we had, say, two more houses, I think two more houses uh, this way, that would put that house somewhere in this vicinity. And then we would need to be there anyways. So I think we're just going to leave this the way that we have it planned out. And then we will have uh, um, five buildings, three of them across one side, two of them across the other. And they'll be feeding into the, into the town buildings. So in order to do that now, we have our, our rail, our, a single rail at least here around. And the plan is to possibly also have multiple rails depending on how much stuff we uh, have on the same train versus how many trains are running uh, kind of you know a, a locomotive to car ratio kind of thing not that it changes the way that they function but that it changes the way that they um, changes how like how many how many different products we can get on one rail coming in so um, I think what we're going to do now is see about taking a run from here out in each of the four cardinal directions, kind of centered on the center of each side. And then from there, we'll have branches that come off into the sides, kind of how we did in that last campaign mission, uh, campaign mission five. So the problem with that is that this is probably going to need to plow right through where these rails are here. And are those going to continue to be necessary or not? Uh, there is a bit more iron here that we need to pick up. But otherwise, it is dead. So let's go ahead and uh, add maybe a couple more uh, places to store some iron here. This is all the iron. Let's just go this way by... But we only had... A couple of stacks. So really probably just one is enough. And then let's do oops, let's do correct buttons. And then this. And we'll let that drain down a little bit. We had I think it was three stacks. Yep, three stacks of iron left. Take this out a little bit further. I can pull this train forward a little bit further. Just in case we end up using these trains for something else soon. And then this one can start its run again. And deliver... 
Well, we should probably wait until we can actually store up the 400 we are carrying. A purple glow around there caught my eye. And then we can bring these rails out. So somewhere in the middle of this is going to be like opposite of this house, positioning wise. So we can take a rail, oopsie, take a rail from here and from here out this direction. And we're actually going to run into the side of that mountain, which I kind of knew that it was going to happen. Because I knew that mountain was tall. So we're actually going to go uphill a little bit here, get over that hill, and then probably kind of stay floating vaguely in the um, in the middle of this. And while this isn't exactly dead center of the map, it's pretty darn close. Um, I think dead center of the chunks of the map would be something... Uh, actually... If it's off, it's actually shifted this way, just, just to the bottom of the screen here. Um, if a little bit, maybe, but it's it's ridiculously close to center of the map. Like, almost, I almost didn't try, but it's still there. Okay, so we'll go uphill from there. Uh, we'll do the same on these other areas, and actually that one we'll be able to go sooner rather than later. Let me pull up this stuff so that this will deactivate a little. I mean, I could also delete the, the grain, but... Oh, there's still some farm tiles under there. That's fine. There's some here, too. Boy, I was packing it in here, wasn't I? Gotta make it all fit. Okay, that should empty out what grain we have left. I think. I mean, I didn't miss any. I did miss one. Right there. This one must still be reporting one someplace, too, because it's not complaining. But I don't know where it is. Oh, it says missing of ingredients. Okay, well, it might be done then. It's weird that it's not complaining. So once that drains out, then we'll be good to go. Uh, the problem that I have now is, of course, I have a bunch of iron that I'm not using. Um, I could take it out of here and into there and at least keep this one from having to go. No, you do not get to do... Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. And then we can just delete this stuff because there's no coal here to fuel it. But I said that I will delete that off screen, and I will delete that off screen. So, we need to figure out, um, we need to figure out where else we need to run a rail line. And I think here's another obvious place. Uh, this one's not going to be centered necessarily, but it'll be close enough. We'll go out this way, and then we'll come out right here as well. And it is jumping around. Because I'm not quite where with the screen here. And I should have probably waited on that one. Let's just do a short bit here. That'll probably be safer because I'm going to be deleting a bunch of stuff underneath it. Oops. Alright, and then... This one will come out somewhere 
in this vicinity as well. I think it's across from here. Like that. And then if we end up having uh, multiple loops in here, what will happen is those will have, those will come in further or will turn also have a turn here further out where they will just make a, a right turn like this and then they'll maybe, maybe make a right turn like here kind of thing uh, like we did before as well. But we'll deal with that when the time comes. I'm just going to connect those up at right angles right now until we figure out what's going on. So what else we're going to have to do is we're going to have to move our, our research area here and we only have those two left, which uh, this one we could do for very little right now. But this one we're going to have to bring air crystals back in. And then the rest of these we're going to have to bring other crystals back in, including the Omni crystals. So um, let's go ahead and do the advanced logistics. That'll give us some of these logic functions. And get that done and out of the way, which shouldn't take very long at all because we should have a bunch of stock piled up books. Actually, we don't. Oh, because they're we'd never have them stockpiled because they're going here instead. Right. Because we're going to move this whole thing out of the way. Um, and find another place to put our research build. Which might be what we do um, in the next episode, actually, because we're going to have to deal with that. So, while I said I was going to delete this stuff off the screen, we do have a few minutes left. And so I think it might be uh, worth it to... Uh, well, you know what? No. Let's... um. I never turned this back on. Let's look at building this rail out here. We're going to have to build up, as I mentioned before. So we'll have to build, let's see, build up here. Top of the mountain puts us right about here. I think I'll go up to the sixth height, arbitrarily. And then this can come down and into there and how does that look? That's fine. And that mm, might be enough. That's where it is, but I don't know if the train can pass underneath it or not. Let's see what it looks like. Which is left? Uh, one more load after this one. Oh, you're still loading. Well, I think you're going to be done-ish. I forgot about there were still workers there hauling trees into those buildings to cook with. You're done. You're done. Apparently you're not doing anything. Oh, it might have been going to the other one when we had two still. That could be. Train's coming back. I think you're just going to be done. We'll just delete the rest of that iron. If it's in the way. And I think I can pull air. That advanced logistics is already done. And then I think I can pull this all, um, this all this up. I don't think we'll need this anymore. I need to turn so that I can drive try on straight lines here. And I'm just gonna take the filters off of this. And that should push that train right into that side trail there. Yep, side track there. Yep, okay. Excellent. 
So the train could get under here, but we might as well just get rid of the whole dang thing. Because it's kind of unnecessary now. Maybe I'll leave that bit on that side so that we have a place to potentially connect in everything and get access to all that stuff that we just stored, stockpiled up. Okay. This stuff is easy to delete. Oops, I missed one right here. Okay, so now this is here. It can come barely high enough, I think, for top of all this. And maybe we take it out to the far side of the mountain there before we have an uh, automatic turnaround. I guess right there's where we're going to go to. Because I'm not going to go up over this mountain, I don't think, unless I do it to go into a station. Let's just do something like this. Oh, that already connected correctly. There we go. And that'll be a, a end of the rail turnaround. And then we'll just take an offshoot from here into this station accordingly. We're not going to be able to go up and over that quite enough. Let's go up from here, maybe like that. That'll work. And then we can turn there and I think go up properly. Or come down properly. Here-ish. Did I just do that correctly without trying too hard? Almost. That was probably going to block that, um, that belt. Take this out. One more. And then come down to there. And I think that'll be good. Then we can do the same on this side. Same kind of thing, even. Maybe we can make it symmetrical. Three, four, up. One, two, three, four, and then here. Oops. This one. Nope. This one. Way too high. Way too high. How about like that? One more. One too low now. Symmetrical. And this can come in from here, go that far, it looks like, and then to there. Awesome. Like that. And that'll be our access to our station of all this stuff. You know what I think I'm going to do, by the way, with the uh, fueling? I think we're going to have fueling on each one of these... Uh, exits from town. We'll have it just a train station uh, floating in the sky here that has... I can't make it floating in the sky if I want to get water up there. Unless I do pipes that are above ground. That'll be a good idea. But I think this serves what I wanted to do this time. We can't deliver this stuff into here just yet because we need to deal with everything else that's coming into the general store and then move the general store. Uh, we should also probably talk about which stores go where. Um, it doesn't horribly matter, except that I probably will put the food market somewhere in proximity to this direction, and the general store somewhere in proximity to this direction. So maybe general store goes here, food market goes here. Maybe the apothecary could be put over here, and set up all that stuff out here in this very, very busy area. Um... Uh, or maybe on toward this direction. I'll give that some thought. So um, we're going to leave this here and we will uh, resume in the next one. 
hopefully getting some more work done on our rail network as well as uh, moving our but definitely moving our school research area to a different spot so that we can more uh, more easily uh, build that stuff and not have it be in our way of our downtown so thank you all for joining me and i will see you then bye for now